Welcome, my name is Ed Moak. This is a, will be a short video on CyberSense's ability to detect the uh, CLOP ransomware. There's been a number of high profile customers that have been hit by CLOP in, the, in recent months. And I just wanted to have a short video showing CyberSense's ability to actually detect and alert on the, on the CLOP ransomware. Let me start by just summarizing what CLOP ransomware is. It was first detected and, and introduced around February of 2019. So it's a fairly old uh, ransomware variant. Um, it's based on CryptoMix, uh, which is uh, tends to be a strong encryption with a new known extension, the .clop um, extent, file extension. Um, way it encrypts, it does two different types of encryptions. First, is any files that are up to three megabytes in size, um, it does fully encrypt the file. And also appends 138 byte header, a high high entropy trailer, uh, consisting of the of the string here, the C O L P um, underscore and hyphen, followed by 128 byte key. For files that are larger than three megabytes, it only encrypts the first 300 three megabytes worth of files, so basically a partial encryption. Um, but in both cases, the inode is preserved and timestamps are set to the current date and time of the attack. So by looking at the, um, the creation date or the modification date, we'll be able to determine the actual time the attack took place. Um, again, there, the inode is replaced and timestamp attributes are set. Um, they will install a ransomware note, a clop readme.txt is deposited on each of the attack folders. And what we've seen in the encryption rate of how fast it encrypts, it's really on the slow side. You know, around 23,000 files per hour or about five, uh, six files per second. So a reasonably sized server is gonna take many hours for it to actually um, fully encrypt the, uh, the files within the, uh, within the client. Let's look at our test environment and summary. Uh, we've got a test bed here we set up. Uh, it was a Windows test bed um, with a virtual client, so we're, it's a Windows environment on a virtual server. Uh, we're using Avamar to do the uh, virtual backup. The uh, total set of files across on that server is about 260 odd thousand files on that particular server. The uh, procedure we used, we first backed up that test environment um, prior to any infection, so it was a clean environment, and we let CyberSense analyze that environment. Um, asked CyberSense to analyze that environment and did not detect any uh, any ransomware event. We then downloaded from uh, from the dark web the CLOP ransomware and we detonated it in that test environment um, and let it do its thing. It ran its attack, um, completed the attack. We backed up that test bed um, once the attack was completed, and we ran that back up uh, through cyber through CyberSense. Um, the overall um, results of that attack is CyberSense was able to successfully generate an alert on that backup on the first time. So what I want to show you is just some of the, uh, the alerts and, and analysis. Um, I want to first go into the CyberSense email. Uh, there was an email generated by CyberSense. Um, and if we look at that email, um, that email is here. Uh, we did um, successfully, the indexing job ran. Now it ran on both the clean and infected backups at the same time. That's what our test bed did. It had found a, a infected backup. So it, it identified it, um, identified that particular backup. If we look at the CSV that was attached to that particular backup, um, that CSV identified the two um, the two backups. Uh, this was the pre-infection backup, and this was the post-infection backup. It identified it with an alert four, which is a known ransomware variant. So the email was sent out, was uh, was uh, alerted um, on that particular backup. We also um, in syslog, we also got the uh, syslog was alerted. A alert message was sent in syslog. So if you got syslog set up with a um, and parsing that using Splunk, we had a message saying that the IE it found an infection. It was critical. Um, the type of infection was a strong encryption with a known ransomware extension. 
There was one host that was identified as being suspect, and it had 17,198 uh, files identified as suspect. Um, with our new syslog um, messages in the 8.0 release, we identified the host, and we identified, and there was many messages, this is one with the uh, path. So this is one of the paths that contain uh, the, uh, the suspect files and identified that as a strong encryption with a new known ransomware extension. So not only was the email alert sent, um, cyber recovery was notified, but we also included it in our, in our syslog. Um, the rest is in our analyzed dashboard. Um, and if I go to our analyzed dashboard, excuse me, if I go to our analyzed dashboard, and look at the analyzed dashboard. There is our uh, ransomware alert for the CLOP ransomware. That was the name of my policy. One uh, host identified 17,198 files. The uh, type of ransomware was the uh, uh, was a new note. It was a strong encryption with a known ransomware extension. We identified the host. This was the uh, the host name that we identified. The file extensions of the suspect files, you can see here 17,198 files identified with the CLOP extension. Um, and they were all, the end time on those, uh, on the majority of these were Monday, March 20th, 2023. That was the time uh, the backup was taken with the suspect files. We listed the suspect files here below um, within that particular file. Um, what I can show you here is the difference in, as CLOP ransomware, the difference between a large file and a small file. If we look at a, uh, a large file, this is a text, it was a text file, they appended the uh, CLOP ransomware to it. We can see that this was above that three megabyte threshold. And we can look at this file and see that, yes, they did infect it. We could not detect it as a, a text file any longer, um, but it only had a file entropy of 30. So it was a partial based encryption, but we still identified this as a uh, as a suspect file. Same holds true. We had a database here, a database, a large database, 155 meg. That also was detected. Unknown, had a file entropy of 59, was not an unreasonable size, but we detected this also as a um, uh, as a file that was I that was. Uh, um, attacked by, by the uh, CLOP ransomware. If we look at some files that are on the smaller size, and I'll just scroll through some of the files here, go down to, um, you know, files, we'll find some uh, text files here, something easy to look at. Um, go to a text file here, easy to look at. We can see that this is a smaller file under the three meg size, 22 kilobytes. We could not detect it. Um, and it did, in fact, um, have a high entropy of 99. It was fully encrypted. So we can see the, the effects of comp ransomware, how it differs between large files and small files. So in the end, uh, CyberSense was able to, within a single backup cycle, able to identify an alert on the CLOP ransomware. Thanks. Uh, this is the end of the video. Thanks, and uh, have a great day.